Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I don't know how much more people need to see to believe that the Bible is the word of God and that we are living in the end times. I mean, the Bible clearly says in the last days, there will be a falling away from the truth, an apostasy, that the love of many will wax cold, that people will be deceived, that there would be a hatred of the people of God, and people would hate the word of God, the Holy Bible. Most countries in the world have it a lot worse than we do in the United States, and people didn't think the persecution and hatred of God and the Bible could come to the United States. Well, it's here now, folks, and it's going to get a lot worse. I had to share this one with you today, folks. Thank you to all of you that had sent this to me. Um, this is recently in from Fox News. Recent article titled, Utah District Bans Bible in Elementary and Middle Schools Due to Vulgarity or Violence. And then this is just in from the DailyMail.com News. Utah School District removes the Bible from some libraries after a parent complains it's one of the most sex-ridden books around in retaliation against other book bans. Let me read some of this to you folks. The King James Version of the Bible has been removed from a number of schools in a Utah school district after a committee found it contained vulgarity and violence. The Davis School District Review Committee decided to pull the Bible from all schools other than those at a high school level after a parent filed a challenge last year citing passages that describe sex and violence. It is understood that the challenge was first made in December, December 11th, by a parent who wrote in their complaint they were frust frustrated with books being deemed inappropriate by conservative, conservative groups and removed from schools in recent months. The parent requested that the Bible itself be reviewed by the board, saying it was time to remove one of the most sex-ridden books around from schools. Davis School District's spokesperson, Christopher Williams, said that the decision to remove the Bible will take immediate effect. The Salt Lake Tribune reported. So not only have we removed God from our schools, here in the United States. Uh, now you're seeing this story, and there's going to be more to come. Make no mistake about it. Um, now they want to remove, again, the Word of God, the Bible, from our schools. As our society continues to crumble and remove God completely from everything, and cancel culture continues to do what it's doing, one thing it will not cancel is the Bible. The reality is, the Bible isn't going anywhere. In the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 25, we read, But the word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word by which, which by the gospel is preached unto you. In Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 8, we read, The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. The Bible is not going anywhere. The word of the Lord will endure forever. But what we're seeing right now, again, folks, it's going to get a lot worse. But the hatred of God, the hatred of his word, what we're seeing again, Jesus said the last days would look exactly like this. And all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around this world right now and everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back, and he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking, and it is sinking fast, just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. 
the sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us, and he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me and God bless you all.